A remarkable life and legacy. Joining us live now is Sheldon Rothblatt, a professor emeritus at UC Berkeley and an expert on British history. Thanks so much for, for joining us this evening. Lots of ground to cover in 96 years of this incredible woman's life. What do you think Queen Elizabeth will most be remembered for? Let me take a, a slightly different uh, attack from the people I've been listening to. And that is what national prominent figure, uh, a major national figure can combine a natural with a, a special quality. Try that one on, right? Yeah. You are either a prig or you're a hail fellow well met. How do you hit that particular combination? I'm sure it was a struggle. And we'll learn more about that in, in time when the biographies are written. But she did it. Yeah, she did it. I mean, she, yeah, and she handled so many huge changes that were happening through the world uh, in her reign. She saw so many changes. How do you think her influence has shaped how folks view the royal family? Do you think that that's going to change now? Um, well, I'm going to guess because, you know, I'm an historian, not a futurologist. I'm going to guess uh, that um, she's going to have left a very good legacy and that Charles, who's had struggles of his own, is really going to be a surprisingly a good king. Uh, and I think that the real legacy will probably be with William, uh, who I have a feeling is very much like his grandmother. And do you think that it would be wise for the royal family to lift up William and Kate as the future? Or do you think that they're going to lean on now King Charles as being the, the, the king that we're yeah. looking to as the future? Charles deserves his chance. He's been preparing for it for a very, very long time. He has a very broad outlook about what a good society ought to be. Um, he had to learn the hard way uh, as well, most of us do, but I'm gonna count on him. Let him have his transition period. He, he, it, the reign will be shorter than his, than his mother's, of course. So where do you see, real quick, I know this is probably a, a, a long answer to a, sh a short question, but where do you think the monarchy kind of goes from here? A lot of folks think it's antiquated, it shouldn't be around anymore, they cost too much money. Do you think they're ever going to go away? No, I don't. And uh, let me, uh, all of those criticisms that are made, and there is a, some younger people express some kind of republicanism from time to time. However, look at it this way. Since 1945, Britain has been in a kind of decline, I, I don't want to use that word clumsily, that is it was the great financial power in the world and, one of, and, one of the, and the greatest empire. What enabled that society to maintain its dignity and sense of tradition, continuity, elevate itself and not fall into a, a despair as societies can? And I think the monarchy had a great deal to do with that. They're a tremendous tourist attraction, that's for sure. A lot of folks come well, to... Well, that's for sure. Yeah, they come well, to Great Britain to, to see the palaces and learn yeah. more about the royal family. Professor Emeritus Sheldon Rosenblatt from UC Berkeley, thank you so much.